North Carolina AFM 2014 released test question number four. We have a spinner labeled one to nine that gives the numbers two, five, seven, and nine a three out of 20 chance of being landed upon. The chance of landing on each of the other five numbers is equal. If the spinner is spun 1,000 times, which is the most likely outcome for the 1,000 spins? And so we have these different tables of outcomes for a thousand spins. So two, five, seven, and nine, we have uh, three over 20. So we're gonna go ahead and write that in. Two and five and seven and nine. That's three, six, nine, 12 out of 20. Now what does that leave for the other possibilities? Well, that leaves 20 minus 12 is 8 out of 20. So 1, 3, 4, 6, and 8 have the possibility of 8 out of 20. Now, how many choices is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we need to divide the 8 out of 20 by 5. And you know, you, you remember keep, change, flip, right? So that's really 8 out of 20 times 1 fifth which is 8 out of 100. So each of these has the possibility of 8 out of 100. And if we want to compare them, we need to change the 3 over 20 to something over 100. Well, 3 over 20 is 15 over 100. So each of those is 15 over 100. Now, this is out of 1,000 spins, and I've written these out of 100. So all we need to do is multiply everything by 10. And so what we end up with is uh, 80 and 150 and 80, 80, 150, 80. 150, 80, 150. Now, which of these tables shows us the closest thing to those numbers? Table A starts with 110. That's not close to 80. Table C starts with 120. Stable, table D starts with 121. If you look at B, you have 82, 148, 78, 80, 149, 79, 151, 81, and 152. All of those numbers are within... Uh, one or two of what we're looking for. So B is the closest table to what we expect.